so friends let's see how can we make use of the folder connector so in case of a folder connector so you connect to a folder and thereafter you can import all the files from that folder So here in this particular scenario, what I have is I got a folder with the name as sales. So here in we have got two files, one is HV sales and other is HV sales. So let me just open this uh, file HV sales. What does it contain? It contains the data. Like it now note that the first yeah, at the top we do not have any header here, and we just have the data maybe some number here and some other detail here third row fourth row and so on and the data in this particular record the the column number d it has the data in the format us state format again it is in the format as mmdd y y y y and uh, the column names of these ones are coming from some another file which is out here which is sales header so we are going to see two operations one is making use of the folder connector and second is use of the append operation how it is done so let me go here to power bi so in power bi let me delete anything if i have any so I right click here i say delete from the model so that I do not have anything in this particular solution click on the home button click on file option and settings go to options and make sure you set the regional settings as English United States because the data that we are using has got the date and time format as English United States so I click on get data and herein I do not have a folder connector available here in the common data sources. I select more button and thereafter I will select the folder connector. So I select folder and it is available in all as well as you can click on file and you will be able to select the folder connector. Click on the connect button. enter the path so you can click on the browse button and browse to that path and uh, for ease uh, purposes for ease of use I just copied the path and I'll click on OK button okay. it shows me there are three files one is sales header.csv hv sales and lv sales let me go to that folder in the folder connector do I have all the three files here or two files? So I got HV sales and LV sales. And so basically, because I gave the path as folder connector, if I give the path as sales, so it will show me only these two files. Because what I want is I want the data to be appended one below the other for the sales only, not for the sales address. Or I could have the sales header as well. So means what it will be done is uh, in case I give this one it has taken the sales headers at the top and thereafter it has got the HV sales and LV sales and what I can do is I can click on the load button or click on the transform data so I'm clicking on the transform data button let's see what happens so here in, it is showing me um, these three files which I am connecting to and apart from this it what it is showing me as also the column quality I can just click on the remove the column uh, uncheck the column quality and now I have got these ones here I can click on the combine files button and what it is going to do is uh, it says that these are the files that I have 
business entity first first is business entity id and order number and so on and click on ok button let's see what happens so we can see this the data for sales at dot csv comes here first row then hv sales and after this we'll have probably have the lv sales now we can easily do the rest of the things but the first row is to be removed so we click on home and we select remove rows remove top rows so this particular first row will be removed so we select one only so this one will get removed now if you want uh, what you may do is the uh, basic uh, you may remove this column or if you want this column to be there it, it is also fine this first row we want to make as header only so we say that uh, use the first row as headers so we'll get the data like id of the customer we can rename this as customer id so we get this and there, thereafter we got the data here so it shows us all the data here now note that here in what what we also have is that some of the data has been marked as confidential so what we can do is we can click on the order date and we can select for confidential and just uncheck this click on ok button so it will be removed so those rows will get removed and in case you have anything here in the sales amount as well and load more as well so do you have anything like confidential or anything you do not have anything here so this is fine and thereafter we can just click on close and apply and now if you do not want this header to be available or you can give it a name as source file so this is okay note that it has automatically identified the date and other the other the values out here and we can even change the the this particular data type as well let me change it to date let's see what happens and we can see this it changes correctly and the sales amount we can also do that we can change it to fixed decimal number so which is also okay it does that and category is fine order date is fine and similarly if you want to change the data type of sales order number we can do that it's already in number only and order number is so so which is fine and this is okay we can click on close and apply that finally on there it will contain only one file with the name as let's see what is the name as folder connector so we can rename this as sales so this by default it makes the name of the file same as the name of the folder so we can do that okay friends thank you thanks for watching the video